Science is a real strength area for the UK where we've had a real global impact. So reflecting it on our, one of our British notes is a fantastic way for us to celebrate the real achievements in this space. It was staggering. Um, I think there were almost a quarter of a million uh, nominations from the general public, from, from uh, retired professors, I guess, down to school kids and everybody in between. And I must admit, when the list came through, over 900 candidates, I was slightly overwhelmed uh, because I felt that each candidate had a right to be heard. My background's in physics, and so there were biologists and many, many others, who, you know, geniuses who contributed to British life who I'd never heard of. But they each had a story to tell. And I think that's the wonderful thing about this process. It flags people who you might not have heard of, but are doing amazing science. In our shortlist, we had the double act of Ada Lovelace and Charles Babbage. And so these two people really set the stage for the 20th century. All of the technology around us today can be traced back to Ada Lovelace and Charles Babbage. I think Stephen Hawking made an amazing and huge contribution to science. I think his understanding of the origins of the universe, the Big Bang, his understanding and his contribution around our understanding of black holes and our understanding of a universal theory of everything or paving the way to that, coupled with his huge work as a science communicator, helping others to understand the world of science, inspiring others to become scientists, and also, of course, overcoming adversity, doing all of this while suffering from motor neurone disease. But one of my favorite was Rutherford. Um, Rutherford, uh, I always mention him in all my talks because he looks very sort of play face, very serious, but he did some amazing work, sort of probing the heart of atoms. Dorothy Hodgkin was one of the amazing chemists on the list. Her groundbreaking work discovering the structure of really important proteins has helped save so many lives. She researched the structure of penicillin insulin and so she was really influential in forming some of the treatments for diseases like diabetes that are such big issues today. I think that Alan Turing is a wonderful person to be put on the £50 note because his work covered so much. I think many are aware of the work he did on the Enigma machine and the work he did at Bletchley Park but his work starts before that and after that as well. Um, before, I mean, he was writing papers, he was a mathematician. He was fascinated by the sort of the workings of, of computers and how they might come together. And so he writes some very seminal papers on that before he had ever started working at Bletchley Park. Alan Turing had that initial idea, that initial concept of a machine that could calculate numbers and solve problems that really was the seed of the computer revolution that's still carrying on today. I think Alan Turing's legacy is without a doubt up to 20 million lives that he saved during the Second World War to have laid the foundation of our world today of computing and artificial intelligence, but also for the awful atrocities that he experienced during his lifetime. It's important to remember um, Alan Turing was a homosexual and uh, after the war he was charged with gross indecency and he was given hormone treatment and ultimately this led to him taking his own life. And when we look at the 50 pound note, and we look at Alan Turing, um, I hope we think about the amazing things that humans can do and the amazing contributions to science that Britain has made. But I also hope we, we think about the way we want the world to be in the future and how we, we should all treat each other. I think Alan Turing's legacy today and marking him and honouring him on a 50 pound note gives a really important signal to the entire world that we as a nation support and embrace diversity, gender diversity and sexuality and that actually people should be um, honoured according to what they do in the world, who they are in the world, the, the difference they make in the world. I'm really looking forward to being involved in the design and the production of the £50 note, which we expect to enter circulation by the end of 2021.